Hi, and welcome back to Camp Sue. Today we will do our weekly oracle message to check the forecast for the energy of the upcoming week. So we shuffle in the cards and the cards are popping out. So we're going to take these three cards. All right, so the first card that we've pulled is destructive thinking. So what this card um, wants us to be aware of is how are we thinking? Where are we putting our thoughts? I think this may have even been part of um, last week's weekly forecast. So it's still on that same theme to follow your, to understand where you, how your thoughts are going. Um, today's daily card message, uh, the Oracle card message on my Instagram was one about having patience. So this feels like the same energy. It's um, worrying about something that hasn't happened yet. And just putting all of, I'm hearing a message like putting all of your eggs in one basket. So don't do that. So the next card, hmm, so boy, might be a tough week. Hell trap. So it's like this destructive thinking is causing your mind to explode. So you feel like you're stuck or trapped in some type of a situation and you're not able to get out. And that can often happen when we just get too stuck in our own head, when we're not open for uh, new ideas, or we're following along with the crowd, or we're just too egocentric, too ego-focused, and we want everything our way. So let's see what the final card is, because this here is the shadow card. This here is the message from your higher self. It's telling you to get out of your head. And, you know, you can create that anxiety, tension, all the stuff that you don't really like. So the final card is abandonment. So these three cards, it's almost as though you're just not showing up for yourself. Let's see what the cards, uh, what the booklet has to say with the encouragement, because this week might be kind of a tough little bit of a week. So let's see what the booklet has to say. I'm in the process of rewriting this or editing it, because it just, I've been taking some courses and I know what I need to do now. All right. So with this card, it's telling you to keep your composure. Know that life is ever-changing. Nothing stays the same forever. Become aware of what's triggering you. Okay, so something here is triggering you to have these thoughts. So be aware of what's triggering you. Um, you're holding on to... Hold on to yourself. Like, really, how you respond matters. No reaction is a response. When you feel that need to have that knee-jerk reaction because something's just pissed you off, stop, take a deep breath, pause. There's a lesson in this for you. And it's not like, oh my God, this is happening to me. Why, why? Just like kind of look at it from the point of, okay, so this is happening, why? What can I learn from this? Uh, because we can always learn something about ourselves. Like, where are you not showing up? Where are your expectations um, for, about another being unmet? Because it's unrealistic to have, un have expectations of others because everybody has free will. So you're trying to maybe uh, force your will onto somebody, which is causing you to have, like, feeling... You're totally stuck, hell trapped. It's just, you know, you just can't even get out of it. You're just feeling sadness, heavy. Um, it's like a prison. And that prison comes from being stuck in your head. It's just, um, woe is me, looking outside of yourself, trying to find blame on others where you're not taking some responsibility. So where are you not taking responsibility for yourself? That's the message for um, this week. 
All right, so it's telling you to step back and take a break. Allow the changes to occur. Practice gratitude for what you have. And instead of saying, oh, and looking outside and comparing yourself to others, because that can really lead us down a bad path because we're all unique. Um, even in this community of card readers, you know, it's, it, it's easy to get stuck and try to start to compare yourself with others where you start to feel like maybe you're not good enough. You know, the right people are going to find you when it's time. Not everybody is ready for even my card readings. So whoever does watch these, thank you very much. Um, I really appreciate you walking through this journey of awakening because these cards, the whole point of my Oracle cards are to help people to awaken. So through that process, it's really can be difficult. You can almost feel like your mind's going to explode. And I highly recommend talking with a therapist, a psychotherapist. It's tough, but these cards can actually help guide you in maybe pinpointing some, some area of yourself where you need to maybe look in, into. So like with this book, I've got it all broken up into different sections here. Um, where each card, based on how it comes out, what your intention is when you're shuffling, could give you some insight and something that you could talk about with um, a counselor of some sort. You can even contact me for card readings if that's what you'd like to do. Um, haven't been set up yet with my website, it's all in progress. Uh, but if you are interested in a card reading um, from me, just uh, drop me an email um, at campsueforyou at gmail.com. I'll leave that down below. And uh, there are different types of readings, and but my main goal is to help folks. So I, I, I was going to like charge, but I'd like to do this as a donation. So where you feel that it's um, like what you can afford. Uh, because, you know, karma, as long as there's like an energy exchange for what I do, because I'm extending energy doing these videos uh, for the good of whoever watches them, um, even myself, because sometimes I do. And often, you know, we just, uh, if we don't pay for something, there's no value in it. So I figured a donation is is fine and then if you can't that's okay too I have got people I help all the time because uh, they reach out to me so hi all of you guys all right so let's see I'm gonna just pull a couple more cards because this just seems like such a grim weekly forecast doesn't it all right we're gonna just pull this card that Paul oh I love this so this is my card that's telling you that there's hope okay inspiration seeds of hope Getting down on yourself, I mean, it's it, it's so easy to beat yourself up and to blame yourself for things. Sometimes, you know, you do have a part in it. Everybody has to take responsibility for their role. Understand you can only control yourself and your expectations need to be communicated. And if people don't, like what your expectation is that's that's their that's their right okay so do your best this week to get out of your head all right try to try to really um find the joy in the uh, like the this hope like see the hope okay hope 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 show up for yourself and, <clears throat> and know that this hell feeling you'll get out of it. It's all going to pass and this too shall pass. So with that being said, I'm going to pull maybe uh, one more card. All right. Oh man. All right. So now the card I pull is procrastination. And yesterday my um, Instagram, this was the message. This was the card was procrastination. So if you'd like to see that, I think I accidentally posted it on my uh, U Rocks, my rock art Instagram 
um, you can see that little reel that I had created. I'm starting to do daily reels on uh, my Instagram at Camp Sue for You on Instagram, and you will see daily card readings, uh, messages, videos, reels, and just show up. Don't put stuff off because it's just kind of messing up with your head. No wonder you're feeling like down and out. That's what I'm feeling now. It's more like beating up yourself because you feel like you haven't done enough. That you really feel like you're striving and you're working really, really hard to achieve some goal. But you're not able, you feel like you're just not able to. There's something that's stuck. Something from past patterns or something that you've learned where you may feel that you're not good enough or you're not worthy enough or someone else is better. Know that you are just as good. Pick yourself up. Don't self-sabotage yourself by allowing yourself to procrastinate because procrastination is a dream killer. It sucks the soul and the life right out of it. Be mindful of your thoughts. Tell yourself you can and you will. Um, get a step away, change your environment, um, go out and walk in the woods, hug a tree, just breathe the air, just always breathing and pausing and being mindful of your thoughts and how they might be destructive. That's something that really is important to pay attention to. So with that, I'm going to leave this card reading and let you know that the week ahead might seem a little bit rough. Hold yourself together. How you respond, your reactions really matter. Walk away, take a deep breath. This too is going to pass. Nothing, nothing, nothing ever lasts forever. So with that, I say namaste. Thank you to all my subscribers, the people that watch this that haven't subscribed. Go ahead, subscribe. It's easy. Thank you. And um, many blessings to all of you. And I really do know that this too will pass, and like the leaves on the tree in, winter, in fall, you gotta let things go. Have a wonderful week.